Today we're working on the cyclone. I'm going to mount the fan, which is my Harbor Freight fan blower, to the top of the cyclone that's sitting here. And what I've just done is cut out two 12 inch discs and mark them for five inches and we'll place them on here. One, two, and then set that on top of the cyclone. Um, seal it all up with caulking. Uh, gravity's going to help keep it in place. And then this big blower motor has these feet on it. And I'm going to mount these to some 2x4s or some heavy brackets to hold it in place. Uh, gravity will hold these in place with caulking. And, um, that's, that's where we're going. I think I will drill these out and jigsaw them. And then this 5 inch piece will mount flush with the 6 inch pipe at the top of the cycle. And I'm hoping there won't be any cavitation. Okay, I made quick work of that. And I have two donuts. And this one ended up a little big and loose, which is alright because that's got kind of a flange on it. So set that on there. This one ended up snugged up pretty darn good. So they will sit like that, and then this pops out a oh, quarter of an inch maybe. But I'm going to just mat that together about like that with some glue. Now I'm doing a test fit of the full system. So I've got some 8 foot 2 by 4s which is the height of my room in there. I just set this on there. And I guess I realized that this circle is larger in diameter than that circle. But I'm going to have to compensate for that with my frame that I'm making. So it's a good thing I didn't just make it too small. I have an idea though. And then I have about a foot up on top to do some cross braces to hold the blower. Alright, we are making some progress and now what I have lined up may make a little bit of sense. And I want to tell you how even the best laid plans go out the window. So in my room, I have the pipe coming out of the floor about right here. So it's going to come diagonal and straight up and go into this pipe here. And I of course planned it knowing that this was the front and what I would look at to have this in the back. Well, it ended up in the front. That's the way it goes. All temporary. But I'm going to have that kind of V'd out about 20 or 30 degrees on each side so that I can reach in here on the bottom lift this up and then slide the garbage can out and that's the way I have room to slide it out welcome to the final chapter oh that sounds funny anyway here is a video here's a video of the turbulator put together well 99 percent fully functioning I have the garbage can underneath it I have it on some stilts. I can turn it on and it will turbulate like nobody's business. Actually, I can't really turn it on because my the ladder is my tripod. So I will use this OSHA approved ash ladder. <laughs>
know what I just realized? With me picking up sawdust and throwing it in here, it's not really as efficient as maybe, say, if I went and found a hose. So, I know I've got some 4 inch hose. i got to find a converter from 6 to 4 inch. But, la da! Turbulator 4000. I am going to show off, showcase my newest shop toy. My Turbulator 4000. I'm going to suck all that up. And there's the exhaust. My experience, there's absolutely nothing that comes out of the exhaust. Yeah, so you can see here and on the ground below it there's nothing that's come out of it. And <laughs>